There were 24 men to contact. I wrote to each one, trying to be discreet and persistent. My wife typed each letter every morning. Two more were sent off. Some were returned unknown at this address. A few were dead, the others knew nothing. But one reply gave me news. Yes, I was in Mitchell that night. I was called out with another officer to check on a shooting at one of the houses in the village. When we arrived, a man of perhaps 50 or 60 was lying dead in one of the rooms. He had been shot. Yes, but I began to feel even this tight-lipped Evasive answer spoke of some form of esprit de corps. Some resolved not to speak about those days. Some time ago, you wrote to a friend of mine. I was the translator. The infantry division's translator in Mitchell. I know a few things about that night. He did. He did know. Here is what I have been waiting for. September 15th, 1945. I was summoned by the company cook to come with him and help arrest a black marketeer, Ben Amatel. And I died. was beside him, emptied out by shock. But I went off with the men who had arrested Mattel. I heard, though, that it was the cook who shot the old man. He claimed self-defense. He had been attacked. There was some kind of investigation. I know that the cook was confined to quarters. No one believed the old man was guilty of anything. In my day, I dealt with scores of men. I, Nazi officials, business officers, Never found it necessary to threaten anyone with a gun. The cook! The cook! What was the name of the cook? Answer your nice letter of January 8th. Bell. The name of the cook was Bell. I do not know his first name. It might have been Frank. 
Frank Bell. It was the cook. I'm sure of that. In a fever, I wrote to every army office I could think of. There must be a record somewhere, somewhere. And weeks later, I had an answer. His name was Raymond Bell. Raymond Bell. He lived in Mount Olive, North Carolina. That same day, I had another letter from Hyman. The translator. As you know, he wrote, there was another man involved with Frank Bell. As you know, there was another, another man. man. Sergeant, his name was Murray. Sergeant, his name was Murray. His name was Murray. Well, it was Bell I wanted. Now I knew his name and was resolved to meet him. How could he be dead? I don't know what he knew. I wrote to the river and asked if I might visit. Weeks went by, only silence. Finally, she agreed to a visit. I traveled for days to find her. 